Hi everyone, it's Dr. Keenan, and I'm so happy to be here on this Friday afternoon with Chanel Vaughn. Hi Chanel, how are you? Hi Tiffany, I'm good, thank you. Thanks for having me. Wonderful, so Chanel, you're coming to us from Bermuda. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you've been making out this past little while with the, the whole stay at home situation? Sure. Um, I am a Bermudian, yes, and I teach yoga. And I also um, have been teaching yoga for about 12 years now. And I'm also an energy work therapist. So I see clients one on one for uh, various things anxiety, stress, um, physical conditions, um, different things. And um, so I've been, like many people, in shelter in place for a while so my my yoga um classes have at first they were outdoors we moved outdoors which was wonderful and then when the shelter in place happened um my classes went online so i've been teaching uh zoom yoga which has now become a thing <laughs> and uh i'm looking forward to when we're able to finally come out and, and be around each other again and to be able to see my clients again on in one-on-one -on -one situations and um yeah so just patience right now well that seems to be a theme for all of us and i guess uh, you know we'll be happy that things are going to be opening up for us fairly soon in bermuda but a lot of the rest of the world is still going to be in shelter in place for quite some time right yeah so Chanel, how have you been? I think we've been, the series is on asking individuals, how, what are their top three self-care tips that they've been doing um, during this time when they've had a little bit more time at home than usual? Yeah, well, that's, I mean, that's been one of the, the blessings to come out of this. And um, for me, um, my top three, my number one, tip for my personal sort of self-care has been to go deeper into my own um, morning spiritual practice. So even before COVID, I had a, I had a spiritual um, practice every day, um, well, most days. And, uh, and so since, since uh, the shelter in place, we've had more time um, to go a bit deeper into that. And for me, that's, that's been really important to just have something um, that sets the tone for my day, that kind of creates a foundation so that, you know, whatever happens during the day, I'm able to, you know, hopefully weather it a little bit better. Um, so much has been out of our control and, and, you know, so just having that practice and I break it down into three things. So this is kind of like one and three subsections. So my, my morning practice consists of movement, meditation and inspiration so i always do something that is um gets me moving whether it's yoga um running um sometimes just putting on some music and dancing around my apartment um just something to to get my body get my physical body moving and um and then also meditation is a big part of my of my daily practice and um it's just so important i know people are you know um, some people are more comfortable with like mindful, mindfulness practices, but it's so important to um, create some time and some space for, for stillness um, and to go within and to be able to listen to your own inner voices. So much, you know, noise happening in the world right now. Um, so just to take that time to just quiet the mind is like so important. And then the third part of my one is inspiration. And so I always include in my morning practice some kind of uplifting reading or um, maybe I'm listening to a, a podcast or something like that. Something that's going to uplift me and that I can refer back to during the day. Like, oh, yeah, I remember I read this, you know, or I heard this. And it's just it gives me sort of a touchstone um, for, for my day. So my number one tip is if you don't have a practice established already is to establish a morning routine um, because it just it it just helps you to kind of keep your um, to, to create a good foundation for the rest of your of your day you know start you start up here <laughs> um, and then my second tip so this is now to my second tip for managing 
managing uh, COVID and shelter in place is to filter what I take in, what I ingest. And I'm not talking about food necessarily, but like media and um you know what i watch on television i don't have a television but i have netflix so what i'm actually ingesting into my mind i filter very heavily um i don't watch the news um, i figure the things that i need to know will i will hear by word of mouth or osmosis or something and um so i really try to keep as much um negativity away from my mental space so i really um and very vigilant about that. Um, so filtering social media, filtering um, you know news, filtering um, uh, you know television, movies, that sort of thing, keeps helps the mind actually to keep an equilibrium. So that whole practice of meditation um, can be can be easier easier to access if the mind is not so cluttered with with negativity. So that's my second tip is to filter because <laughs> uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff out there right now and it's not all of it needs to be ingested um, and then my third tip is um, even though you know we're in this shelter in place and and um, social distance distancing has become um, something that we're very familiar with it's important not to isolate so my third tip is connection however it, you can, you know, to find someone, uh, one, you know, a best friend, a partner, someone that you can talk to, someone that you can connect with to share your, um, your feelings, your fears, your thoughts, your joys. Um, you know, if, if you're sheltering in place and if you're living by yourself, make sure you're not isolating because connection is, is so important. We're humans. We need that connection, even if it's doing it this way, you know, through video or, or text messaging or, you know, pick up a phone and call someone, uh, which I know is, is quite a novel idea. But, um, you know, just something, just something to stay connected um, and not to isolate is, is really important. So those are my three top things, this um, deepening my morning practice and um, filtering what I ingest mentally and staying connected. Well, it's wonderful to hear that, Chanel, you know, and I know personally, those are all part of my practice as well. And so thank you for sharing what really works for you. And this is all about giving people a few tools, right, that they can use that maybe that connects with them, maybe things that resonate with them as well. So if individuals have found that it's been inspiring to listen to you, how can people follow you? How can they reach out or connect to you online? Um, sure, they can. Um, my website address is uh, www.healingyogini. That's y o g i n i dot com, and um, so there I list, you know, all of the different uh, modalities that I offer, and um, they can email me at info i n f o at healingyogini dot com, and they can follow me on um, uh, Facebook. Uh, under Shambhala Bermuda, so that's S-H-A-M-B-H-A-L-A -A Bermuda, and what's the other one? Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Instagram is Healing Yogini. <laughs> Healing Yogini underscore Bermuda. They can find me there as well. Well, thanks so much, Chanel. It's really been a blessing to see you again. I really hope we can get together in person very, very soon and uh, continue to shine your light in Bermuda. I think everyone needs to see it right now. Me too. <laughs> Have a great day. Uh, thank thank you. you so much, Tiffany. You too, take care.